In this video, we're gonna talk about mentorship and why it is so helpful and really empowering to find a mentor and find someone who's willing to invest the time in your success. So stick with me and we're gonna talk more about mentorship today. This is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi, and welcome to the Educated by Design vlog. Today is episode number, and we're going to talk about mentorship and why I feel that mentorship has been one of the biggest ingredients of success in everything that I do in my life. From my spiritual success, to my business success, to my ability to succeed in the space of being an educator, a designer, and someone who strives to maximize their creative potential. So I'm gonna share with you three reasons why you need to seek out a mentor and how to go about that process. So the first thing is I wanna share a little bit about my experience with mentors and there is a fundamental component of my spiritual life in which a mentor is something that is highly emphasized and to a point almost required to succeed in that space and my experience with that spiritual space is that spirituality is something that is deeply personal very ambiguous and definitely hard to measure. But still, I feel that I have, to a point, had a pretty amazing level of success in finding and utilizing the power of mentorship in that space. The next space is business, and the next space is that creative design educator space that I am super involved in, as you can tell from a lot of the content that I put out. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to establish the value of having a mentor. Why are you going to put yourself out there, especially in a space where you are going to reveal your inner struggles, your flaws, and share your deeply personal struggles and positive dreams and desires to succeed in whatever area you're looking to succeed in. So the reason why a mentor is really important is because it's somebody to step back for a moment and look at you from outside of your head, outside of yourself. You are your biggest critic, you are your biggest doubter, and you are the one that is basically the biggest obstacle to your own success. And that's something that I think is super important for students to understand that if you had a mentor, somebody who was really successful in whatever area you are striving to succeed in, then you would understand how important it is to have such a mentor. And mentors don't have to be these big idea experiences, right? You don't have to have a mentor to address your entire life. In fact, there was a moment with one of my mentors where he said, you know what, this is where my expertise really ends and you need to seek out an additional mentor or additional resources because I don't feel that I can give you the best information, the best advice for you to succeed in that space. That is the sign of a true mentor. So number one is you want your mentor to be an expert in whatever you are looking to succeed in, right? If you wanna be an expert sports player, right? You wanna be an expert in football or basketball. You wanna be an expert in drawing. You wanna be an expert as an entrepreneur, someone who is going to start a business. So why would you find a mentor that is not doing or has already done those things that you're looking to do. For me, that doesn't make sense, but there are different angles, different opinions, different styles for everybody, but for me, my advice is, you wanna have someone who is an expert and who has already succeeded and is continuing to succeed in whatever space you're looking to be successful in. So for me, my spiritual mentor is somebody who I look to as a successful spiritual person, somebody who works on himself, but I'm also in that for the long haul. I don't expect to master spirituality in the next six to eight months. It might not even happen in the next six to eight years. It might be something 30 years down the road. I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm getting closer, but I'm still not there. So I'm looking at this individual who has quite a number of years on me, quite a number of of years spent immersed in a fully spiritual life so that that individual is someone who I can look to and I can see that not just that he has the knowledge of spirituality, but he has the application of spirituality. And that is gonna segue me to number two. Number two is humility, 
right? Number two is gratitude. Number two is this expert person, are they doing good in the world? Are they doing positive things around them? Are they creating a space in which they exude positivity. Because if you're looking for a mentor that is arrogant and pompous, and even though they are an expert and nobody can question their success and expertise, but they walk all over people, they throw people under the bus, they're condescending, they're always putting other people down, I don't understand why you would want that person to be the person to mentor you. Because this is a big picture kind of conversation of your mentorship might be influencing other areas of your life. So if you learn how to succeed in whatever professional pursuit you're engaged in, but you end up being somebody who has very poor character traits and somebody who is not providing value and goodness in the world, well, best of luck to you. Number three, number three is interesting. I want them to be doing exciting and really innovative work. And so for me, what I'm always weary of is you have a mentor and they've just sort of gone through the process. They've done well, not too great, not too exciting. They've played it safe. I want to have a mentor be somebody that is a little more risk oriented, a little bit more focused on creative and experimental application and use and ideation in their professional space. I want them to be doing just full on excited work, right? So you have these three components here and the reason why I find these are important items to assess on the journey is because you're going to grow and your mentors are going to grow and different things are going to happen but you really want to find a mentor that's there with you for the long haul. And so it's not somebody that you're paying a fee unless you are um, inherently wealthy that you can afford to pay someone three, four, five hundred dollars a month, whatever it is, right? That's not a long-term recipe for success. A mentorship is really a, a friend, a colleague, somebody who you feel you are connected with on more than just the level of they're doing good work and they're going to help you do good work and that and end of story, right? So for me, it's been an interesting journey where I sort of had mentors and then I've moved on either because life happens for the both of us or because I'm growing in a different direction. And so you want to have a mentor that has a pulse on that. It can actually sort of kick you out of the nest when they feel like they've done all that they can to succeed and helping you be successful. Think about it. If they can't get you to be as good or better than them, then maybe they are not mentor material. And so just because you're an expert, just because you're humble, and just because you're doing exciting work doesn't mean that you're prepared to take on the role of helping someone else be successful in that space. But a truly good mentor is gonna be someone who celebrates the fact that your success is their success. And so they're not worried, especially in the professional space, that your success is going to prevent them from being successful. They're confident in their lot, they're confident in their blessing that they have, and they're not worried that you are going to take away from them because they, knew, they know confidently that they do good work and they provide value for people. So I think it's just a really important conversation to have, one that I'm super inspired by because I'm always looking at my mentors and the work that they do to help me succeed. And not only am I super grateful for it, but I see the growth that I have had along the journey of various processes, various projects that I've embarked on. And the fact that I can say with confidence that my success is largely due to those people that are doing what I want to do and helping me get to that successful place there is a recipe for success. So thanks for watching this. Please share it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think that this is definitely the recipe for success that we need to introduce to our students, to our colleagues, to basically anyone around us that if you're looking to succeed or you feel you're stuck, you might need a mentor to help you get to that next level. So like this video, share it out. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching.